We have been vlogging for 500 weeks. I cannot wait to watch this movie. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another vlog. We are going to be chatting and unboxing, recapping what went on last week. Also celebrating vlog week 500, which was last week. Ironically enough, last week I didn't really vlog. Last week was kind of like get your ish together kind of week. We did vlog on the second channel, which is Tin's Adventures. It's all about adrenaline roller coasters. But yes, I did vlog, but just not here. Did end up taking small clips here and there. So I kind of wanted to share that with you. It's mind blowing to me that we have been vlogging vlogging for 500 weeks like nine months nine months nine years and seven months 10th anniversary is coming up this December which is crazy you guys have definitely seen the good the bad pretty cool you know to have those vlogs to look back on so let's actually first unbox this one which is from Amazon I know this is from a company because I had to order it through Amazon revival it's a rehydration and recovery electrolyte drink mix and I ended up choosing the summer fruit so there are five sticks in here it contains vitamin C B1 B3 B5 B12 thank you so much to revival finishing up Alani nutrition which is brew energy drink I started drinking this earlier around 11 which i should have finished it we're finishing it now because we are heading to the gym in a little bit on ig stories i described it as a jolly rancher apple mixed with caramel it's very very good I'm supposed to film a sit down video today two sit down videos then remembered there was an armani beauty master class at two that lasted an hour nothing worse than filming and you're rushing because you can tell on camera so i really want to take my time with it that just means tomorrow we're gonna to have to wake up bright and early also the nails now the nails are not perfect first attempt with dip powder nails um, i'll definitely talk about it a little bit more in an upcoming video in a vlog but these were really really easy to do i was very surprised did do them a little bit too thick unfortunately one of the items was also leaking which is the coating that makes it tough there was nothing left in the bottle so i kind of had to make do i have to reach out to the brand but i think it looks okay you know for a first time dip powder but i'm probably gonna redo it this weekend and do them a little bit thinner from derma e last week jonathan and i ended up going to the 626 night market which was for our 18 year wedding anniversary we enjoyed it very much we just love eating and jonathan was actually the one who suggested on going it was nice to go outside of our area derma e vitamin c serum one of my favorites from their line i don't think i've seen this one intense night cream vitamin c is excellent for the skin and then lastly we have the derma e skin brighten it's infused with key ingredients licorice and alpha arbutin to reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation and promote skin brightening oh for some reason i thought this was going to be their acne or not acne their scar gel because it has the same colored box but i have not seen this one thank you so much to derma e for sending this over sunday monday and tuesday those were the three days where i ended up just decluttering organizing and rearranging the room and that was so satisfying i think this saturday we're gonna have a yard sale so i'm really excited to share with you guys how i was able to rearrange it because we did the closet too that was a big one next up we have a package from velour lashes these are some of my favorite lashes because they are super, super comfortable. Luxe lashes. Their Too Clean Lash Wand. Teeth on this are not plastic. They're made of metal to really, you know, help separate the lashes. Velour Effortless Lashes in Final Touch. These are some of my favorites. I've worn a couple of these in the past and they are very, very comfortable. These are definitely dramatic. The style Serendipity. And I love me a dramatic lash. Thank you so much to Valora for sending these over. So Wednesday, Darren and I ended up going to Six Flags Magic Mountain, which was a lot of fun. It was very, very hot. There was wind, but it was hot wind. So that really didn't help 
the situation. After that, we ended up going to eat at a Korean fried chicken place, which was bomb. It's crunchy, it's got a nice outer coating. Ordering too much because I forgot their portions are pretty large. Should have ordered half, but we ended up a full order, which was 16 pieces. So we ended up taking home the rest. Next package, an order I placed on Etsy. Small business. I'm gonna link it down below. I've been looking for any type of accessory that has sample Sampaguita flower. Sampaguita is a national flower of the Philippines. Honestly, have not seen jewelry that have the Sampaguita flower. This is her business card with the QR code. This box. Oh, this is pretty. Show you how it's packaged. I believe these are called threaders. Put one in my ear right now. After we ate, explained to Darren that a couple doors down there's an axe throwing place that Jonathan and I saw. Okay, let's just go check it out. We're already here. See their pricing. It's called Lumberjacks Axe Throwing. Something that really caught our attention was that they had a sign outside 10 throws for $10. Very good marketing strategy. Say if you're just curious about axe throwing, that's a good way to really draw people in. Because it was a weekday, there was nobody there. We each had our own lane they also gave you instructions how exactly to throw the axe there were two different sizes for the axe there was a, a larger one and then there was also a smaller one so we got to try both of them really enjoyed throwing the larger axe same with Darren Darren on his first throw he nailed it right in the middle of the bullseye <laughs> Oh, there you go. Very oh, there you go. Very solid. I think axe throwing is his thing. We are going to go back again, maybe not to that exact location because it is a little bit of a drive for us. There's one that's local, maybe this weekend. Here are the earrings. What do you guys think of them? I think that's so cool that it's a Sampaguita, right? It doesn't go with uh, you know, the gym fit. The next day, Jonathan and I ended up watching After Ever Happy in theaters. It was only supposed to be in theaters Wednesday and Thursday, but they extended it through the weekend. Fourth movie from the After series. So we are gonna be watching After Ever Happy. You guys know I'm such an After fan. Jonathan is with me. He's gonna watch it. And uh, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to watch this movie. Seriously, where's the? It's three. Other sign. Comment below if you guys read the after books. Read all of those during lockdown and was completely obsessed with it. The movies in general have been pretty good. The first movie after was my favorite. Also, the third movie, After We Fell. The second movie, After We Collided, I kind of felt like that one, they rushed on it. And the fourth movie was phenomenal. phenomenal. There were so many direct book quotes and so many scenes that were from the book. And it was amazing to see that translated into a movie. Even Jonathan was really surprised that he enjoyed it because, you know, it's one of those romance type of movies and he was kind of forced to watch it but yeah he really enjoyed the movie as well a box from replenix this week or weekend i'm planning to finally film my nighttime skincare routine that video is so overdue the products that i've been using really really helped my skin don't know if it really translates on camera but to me it really has Replenix sensitive caffeine fortified calming serum and then this is the Replenix Sensitive Redness Reducing Triple Ox Cream. All of their products contain medical grade ingredients. They are a really, really great brand. Thank you so much to Replenix for sending these goodies over. And then the last box we have here is from Kiss. And oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, what? Packed full of stuff. They sent a lot of their Impress nails. My Lash But Better, MLBB. Sister Nature Lashes, I believe these are new because I've never seen this before. Press On Nails, Lash Glue, Gel Fantasy Nails, Lash Couture Triple Push-Up XL Collection. Those are very dramatic. Oh, look at that. 
after. Super, super dramatic. And then these, oh my gosh. You guys remember this from two years ago? I did a review and demo and wear test to see if they really were Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner and Lashes. That's so cool that it was in this box. I mean, they really hooked it up. Naked Drama Lashes, Luxtensions, Lash Drip, Spiky and Boosted Volume, 3D Drama with a Wet Effect, Lash Couture Matte Black. Thank you so much to Kiss for all these wonderful lashes honestly i was not expecting it to be this packed full and thank you so much to you guys for making this all possible because without you guys all this pr would not be possible that was basically what went down last week for vlog week 500 we are now in vlog week 501 oh there's my alarm 500 weeks of vlogging seeing all the happy times sad times things that we've gone through over these past nine years and seven months, I think. A lot of you have been here since the very start and a lot of you maybe just recently found the channel. Regardless, just wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for these 500 vlogs. I appreciate you guys so incredibly much. You guys have no idea. But anyway, you guys, that is it for this vlog. I'm probably gonna head out in 10 minutes after I clean up. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week and we will see you guys in the next vlog.